In this video, we will practice writing vectors as unit vectors, as well as component form. A unit vector is a vector with magnitude equal to 1. The horizontal unit vector is called vector i. So this is an image of a vector i, unit vector i. The vertical unit vector is called vector j. And here's a little unit uh, vector j. Now, in the past, so far, uh, when we look at a vector like this one, we would say, OK, the components of this vector, we see that it has a horizontal component of 3 and a vertical component of 4. So in component form, we would say uh, this is vector 3, comma, 4. All right, but there's another way to look at this using unit vectors. Instead of looking at a single horizontal component, we could look at this horizontal component as being three unit vectors. All right, three i's. So we could look at this as three vector i's. And this, instead of looking at the vertical component as one vertical vector magnitude 4, we could look at this as four unit vectors. OK, we could look at this as 4j. Um, so in unit vector form, This same vector would be 3i plus 4j. So for problem number one, we are supposed to write the vector as the sum of unit vectors. So my strategy will be to first write it in component form, as we are used to, and then to write it uh, using unit vectors. So of course when I do component form I do um, x2 minus x1. So I'm doing 4 minus negative 3. So normally I would do this in my head but I'll go ahead and say 4 uh, plus 3 and 5 minus 1. Alright this is how we find component form. So this would be 7 comma 4. And of course I did 4 plus 3 because I did minus a negative, and minus a negative is addition. So this would be component form. So now in unit vector form, this would simply be 7i plus 4j. Um, it's as simple as that. So looking at number 2. Component form, 3 minus 0 is 3. 6 minus negative 2, or 6 plus 2, is 8. So that's my component form. So in unit vector form, this would be 3i plus 8j. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. OK, so for number 3, in component form, I would do 2 minus negative 1, or 2 plus 1, which is 3. 3 minus negative 5, or 3 plus 5, which is 8. In unit vector form, this would be 3i plus 8j. Number 4. Hmm, not sure why it's all highlighted. Um, but yeah, so same thing. Component form, 0 minus negative 6, or 0 plus 6 is 6. 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. So that's component form. Unit vector form, 6i. Um, I started to say plus, but uh, when it's negative, we simply say minus 3j.
unit vector form. Okay, now the directions are changing a little bit. Find the magnitude of each vector, then write each vector as the sum of unit vectors. Okay, so we're given component form. So um, first we will find the magnitude. which is just going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, the square root of 9 plus 16, square root of 25, um, so that's just going to be 5. So there's my magnitude is 5, and uh, in component form, uh, sorry, this is component form, in unit vector form, this will be 3i plus 4j. So yeah, that's all it is. Looking at number 6, in uh, unit vector form, this is going to be 2i minus 3j. And then for the magnitude, we will do the square root of 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. That's going to equal the square root of 4 plus 9. That's going to equal the square root of 13. So that's it. We've got the magnitude and unit vector form. Number 7. <coughs> unit vector form would be negative 6i minus 11j unit vector form magnitude would be the square root of negative 6 squared plus negative 11 squared that's the square root of 36 plus 121 that is the square root of 157 all right, that's it for number seven. <clears throat> number eight, in unit vector form, this would be 3.5i plus 12j. Now for the magnitude, the square root of 3.5 squared plus 12 squared. Hmm. I had to use my four function calculator a little bit. Um, but yeah, 3.5 squared was 12.25. Add those up, you get 156.25. Take the square root of that, it's 12.5. For number nine, we are given vector u is 2i minus j, and vector w is i plus 2j. So given that, we are supposed to find vector v. So since vector v is 3 halves of vector u, let's just set that up. So we have 3 halves times uh, 2i minus j. So if we do the distributive property, this will give us 3i minus 3 halves j. Okay, so if you're wondering where I got the 3 from, let me do that off to the side. When I did uh, 3 halves times 2, I'm doing this multiplication. Now when I looked at this, I just see that the 2's will cancel out because it's like 2 over 1, the 2's will cancel out and it will just be 3. Um, now, if your skills are uh, significantly weaker than mine, then you might have to do it this way and say 3 times 2 is 6, uh, 2 times 1 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, but that's definitely the long way around. Skirt! The 2's the cancel. Okay, um, so number 10. We're supposed to do u plus 2w. 
So vector v should equal um, vector u. Uh, let me not forget. So this is uh, 2i minus j. All right, that's vector u plus vector w. I'm um, sorry, 2 times vector w. So plus 2 times vector w, which is i plus 2j. OK, so this is going to give me, for vector v, uh, first of all, we have to distribute this 2. So um, I'm going to have 2i minus j plus 2i plus 4j. Now I can combine like terms, like components. So um, 2i and 2i make 4i. Negative j plus 4j is plus 3j. So there you go. By the way, if you're wondering why, um, when they write the problems, they're just uh, putting i and j without the little vector symbol over it. But then when I write it, I put the little vector symbol over it. Instead of just using i and j, I'm putting the little vector sign over it. Why, why am I doing that? Well, um, if you're doing text, something that's typed, you can express a vector by making it bold. So um, this is a bold i and a bold j. So that boldness makes them vectors. Same with the w and the v. Uh, but when you're writing by hand, there's no bold. So uh, we don't have the option of just writing a bold letter. So we have to put the vector symbol over it to show that it's a vector because we, we can't just go bold with it. So the more you know. Um, by the way, I, I should have put in, I should have put the vector symbol over the V. Okay, number 11. Vector V will equal negative vector u plus vector w. Um, let's see, uh, vector u, 2i minus j. And again, vector w, i plus 2j. OK, well, let's go. Distributing the negative sign will give me negative 2i. I uh, kind of put a j. Um, negative 2i plus j. And then I'll just bring the rest of it down. Plus i plus 2j. Now, combining like components, negative 2i plus i is going to be negative i. Uh, positive j plus 2j, that's going to be positive 3j. So there you go. All right, number 12. Vector v should equal 1 half of 3 times vector u plus vector w. So I'm going to work this problem from the inside out. So distributing the 3 through here will give me 6i minus 3j. All right, I've distributed the 3. And then I've got plus i plus 2j. Now, continuing to work the inside, uh, I've got 6i plus i, so that's going to be 7i. I've got negative 3j plus 2j, so that's negative j.
And then I still got this one half going on. All right, so distributing the one half, that's going to make seven over two i minus one half j. And that is the final answer.